Hey everyone, Jude here. So there was another Nickelodeon All Star All Star Blah. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl um showcase for two two characters in this one. Uh Annie and Cora were announced for the game. I haven't mentioned this on the channel yet, but obviously yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Avatar's Last Air Vendor. I grew up with it as a kid. And I also still like Legend of Korra. Though obviously not as much, but that's another that's story for story for another day. I think Aang is the character I'm most curious to see how he's gonna play in this game. So let's go and check this out and see what they're all about. <laughs> that rhymes. Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Marco Bigelow from the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl development team, and today I'll showcase the moveset of the Goofy Kid with the fate of the world on his shoulders, Aang. Aang is a highly mobile character that excels at performing aerial combos and keeping his opponents off the ground with Okay, he uses, he uses the glider to jump up, that makes sense. We'll begin the study of urban <laughs> techniques chop, with chop. Aang's legs. <laughs> Aang, Avatar Aang has Aang karate chop action! Legs, elbow strike. Okay. His light up is swiping wind kick. Okay, he's got some airbending moves, that makes sense. And his slide down is... Wind chop. With wind chop action. <laughs> Let's talk about Ang's air light attack. Oh, I saw Mo in the background. Cool. Ang's light neutral air is tough spin. Huh. That goes by a little, little too fast for me to process what just happened, but okay. His light upper is aerial swiping wind kick. Wow, Ang's character all looks great. Down air is aerial wind chop. It's that. It's very dynamic. I like it. Ang's light dash attack is Lighting Punch. Okay. Ang's light attacks don't have a lot of range, but they make up for it by being very fast and easy to combo into each other. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard for me to tell like if he feels like any other Smash character, because I didn't play much Smash Brothers, so I don't know. Okay, he does the work he does the the air wheel, that's cool. With Ang's strong attack. Aang's okay. Neutral is tornado strike. Cool. His strong up is rising wind kick. Is he gonna do like any of the other elemental attacks? Upwards while feeling down. I guess not. This move will raise your opponent upward, which makes it a good option to start some aerial combos and break them off the ground. Jeez, that's some juggling type strong nonsense. Slashing air blade. Okay. Man, this game comes out, like, next week. It's insane. Same day that the last match character gets announced. Aang's strong neutral is sweeping windmill strike. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't expect them to look super amazing because it is a low-budget fighting game, but whatever. His strong upper is whirlwind punch. And his strong down air is aerial slashing air blade. Okay. Aang's earth strong attacks make him float a bit in the air, which makes him a good option while recovering. Aang's strong dash attack is Palm Strike. I see. And now we'll witness the apex of the Avatar's powers with Aang's special attack. Uh, cool. Um. Neutral specialist, Spinning Staff. Okay. Hold the button to continue spinning the staff. Interesting. Try using it while edge guarding to make it harder for your opponent to recover. That's cool. If Aang's damage percentage is at 100 or more, his neutral special becomes Avatar Escape. Oh, that's cool. He surrounds himself in an elemental bubble. I guess it's like, well, there's, there's your other elements then. His up special is Air Glide. He rises into the air with his glider, slightly moving in the direction of the ship. Press the up special button again to dive into the ground. Doing damage. Just be mindful not to fly off the stage. <laughs> oh no, Ang's dead. Cool. He creates his iconic ball of air to ride on, moving with high speed while dealing damage to opponents he passes.
the ball disappears on hit, but otherwise remains summoned in the Oh, it's not, wait, it's not just the top, it's the actual, like, move, really. Okay. And finally, for Ang's stunt move, check this out. <laughs> Ang's stage is what is wrong with his Western face that he does that? Hey, like a Sapa. I like how they, they go to the Western Air Temple for this map. Fight platform. And there goes Appa. He's just adorable. Appa, yep, yep. Haha, <laughs> did it, yes. He, he didn't yip yep. Now, let's oh, see okay. if Aang will show him the balance of the world in a way. Cool. Um. Okay, so. Press down a little bit. Okay, so early thoughts. Um, he kind of reminds me of Giovanna. Uh, from Guilty Gear as well as Gold Lewis. In that, I was kind of expecting him to have other elements, use the other elements in more of his kit, other than just some slaps and airbending, airbending slaps. That's about it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm gonna like. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when I play him, maybe he'll be super fun. I don't know. Um, I mean, he seems all right so far. I think it is cool that he gets a bit of the avatar state. Has anyone noticed uh, that they haven't shown up any, like, quote-unquote final smashes in the game? I'm going to assume that the game's not going to uh, launch with, with any final smashes. Most likely not. I assume that wasn't in the budget. Maybe if the game does well, um, then they'll actually, like, add final smashes to the game. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think Aang, yeah, Aang seems alright so far. Yeah, okay. So... I actually kind of want to see Korra, what she's like now. What's the, what's the win? <laughs> I, like how he, I like how he does that little dance he does. As his victory. That's cool. Why does this play fall, available Fall 2021? What, wait, what did he say? Thanks so much for tuning in to this Archer Showcase, and please look forward to more like this in the future. Weird. No, but we we know that the game comes out October fifth, right? Just to give my, just to like give a bit of history here. Yeah, I did watch Legend of Korra. I never been really excited for it when it first when it was first announced, and then I watched like the first few episodes and just dropped off of it really quickly. But I think when I rewatched the show last year, like all the way through, uh, I think it's actually a lot better than I thought it was. I think as Korra as she went along got became a much better character. Um, I think I think overall from the show, Tenzin is my favorite. But um, yeah, enough of that. Let's go ahead and watch this trailer. So yeah. I think the fact that Korra is in the base roster at all is, Hello, is pretty everybody. amazing. My name is Diego Hernandez from the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl development team. And today, our show oh, it's harmonic converge from the show. Ah, that's Nintendo cool. City, I like that. Korra. This is actually a pretty good-looking stage. Korra not gonna lie. To fight up close with powerful kicks and punches that can okay. send her opponents flying away if properly timed. And okay. Our, okay. How come she gets the other elements in her base kit, but Ang doesn't? Oh my gosh, she has the rider kick. I love it. You simply don't mess with the avatar. Okay. First impressions are actually very positive on Korra. Out of the way with Korra's light attacks. Korra's light neutral is forward dab. All okay. of Korra's rounded light attacks can be changed. Into I like how they put Rava in the background the too. That's cool. If you connect it twice with the and the red one, I forget his name. Her light Batu? Uppercut. Okay. And her light down is slamming fist. I like how the camera shakes a little with the, with she like slams the ground. That's cool. Moving on to Korra's air light attacks. Korra's light neutral air is full knee spin. That is just that is just a uh, totally spinning bird kick. Her light up air is I love it. Flip kick. And her light down air is double slammy fists. Okay. I actually think yeah, Korra's I think model wise Korra looks great too. Air handstand. Oh, oh, she's got the cuff look kick. Martial arts and elemental bending quite like Korra's strong attacks. Cool. Korra's strong neutral is strong punch. 
all of Korra's I misheard that as strong punch. And stronger variation. She's strong punch. Depending on whether the button is tapped or held. With the stronger variations, an elemental effect will show somewhere in the attack. And the knockback will be slightly bigger. Okay. Her strong up is power uppercut. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. And her strong down is. I'm not bored. Shut up. Kick. Okay, that's neat. Let's move now to Korra's air. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that was cool. We're seeing the fire, like the fire stomp. Korra's that was cool looking. Neutral air is roundhouse kick. Okay. Is Korra a Shoto? I have no idea. Her strong up air is. Upward kick. Cool. Actually, I think Korra might be a, a day one play for me, kick or player for me as well. Stump. Isn't it weird that I kind of want to play Crap Korra more than Aang now? Like this Korra's is what I wanted like, Aang to be, like using tornado. using other like other using the other elements in his uh, in his kit. We'll now experience the sheer power of the Avatar with Korra's special attacks. Man, if they ever make like a third Avatar series, I hope that I really want to see what they do with Dark Bender Korra's as an Avatar. Special is bending leap. This is Korra's okay. finisher move. She leaps and then throws a sweeping punch. Okay, that's definitely not Charging as impressive as Aang's uh, Avatar State thing. Distance. Her up special is Avatar Soar. She strikes with her fist while moving upwards. <laughs> Excuse me. Charge it up for increased power and flight distance. Okay. Her down special is landslide. Cool. She slides along the ground, hitting opponents. Wait, whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to see something really quick here. Ground, hitting op opponents. Wait. Hold it. Okay, I thought for a second she was dabbing for a second. I, I got worried. Keep sliding. I got worried. It kind of looks like it at first, but I don't think, I don't think it's quite dabbing. I like how it's just an, an, an unapologetic rider kick. I love that. And finally, Korra taunts you to keep up with the fight. It's Korra at Tokusatsu. Yeah, no more, no more Shotos. No more Shotos. All we want is Tokusatsu now. This is yep. a medium-sized stage with no platforms. I, I think this is actually... I think this is actually the best looking stage in the game so far. I love like the the va I love like the contrasting colors. I love the rock the rock parts, the rock the rock parts. Very good commentary, me. Um, I also like how the two, uh, Rava and Vatu, I think his name is. There, I like how they're in the background and the tree. Uh, yeah, kept Vatu in prison for all this time is still there. I like that. This is a nice actually, you know, for a game that like isn't you know obviously graphically amazing. This is a pretty good looking stage. I'm not gonna lie. And the two are fighting a desperate battle for the fate of the world. A desperate but battle Korra for the fate of the world. About it very much. Oh, wouldn't it be crazy if I if Iro got into this now, game? I would love that. Learn from the Avatar how to properly dispatch enemies. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. They actually like have uh, a beam struggle for a second in, in the stage. I like that. Okay. Yeah, um I actually really want to try Korra out when the game comes out. She looks like a really fun character. Like just looks like what I wanted Aang to be when uh right there. So Yeah, um Not bad actually. Like I'm going to I'm definitely going to try and play this game when it comes out at launch. Um I think they're going to show off one more character when the game, uh, before the game drops, and I'm pretty sure we all, I mean, everyone already knows who it is, because, uh, unfortunately, as much as I appreciate these devs working their butt off for this game, uh, they have not been keeping secrets very well, sadly. Oh, what a hit. Ah, that's leaks for you. It's a darn shame that Aang and Korra got leaked. It was kind of obvious, though, given, given the silhouettes on the, on the box art. But, dude, the, the last character who's going to be in this game, jeez. Um, yeah, it's, 
it's a darn shame that like I know who the last character is that's going to be shown off soon because that would have been a great surprise for me personally.